up everybody? I'm over here at Kenny Cooper's house and we have today the Hudson Star 11 blade manual reel mower. This thing is like the most expensive manual reel mower ever. How much does one of these cost brand new? These are about $2,000 new. And what did you get to pick it up for? Uh, Facebook Marketplace for 120 with a few accessories with it. Man, that's, what did it come with? I got a hole cutter for putting the cup in the green, got the flag, bag of fertilizer, a few oh, little goodies. Free fertilizer, fantastic. All right, well, Kenny's gonna show us how this thing runs and how it cuts, and we're just gonna do a little review on it because I've personally never seen one of these before. I have a Great States five blade manual, and it gets that rifling look. This thing has 11 blades, and it just they use this thing for like tee boxes and stuff like that on, on courses and you know you, you'll never see like a great states or a scots on there so but yeah this is a uh, like a professional manual reel mower so let's take a look at it okay he's gonna give us the breakdown on here it's got a nice big drum on the back to do the stripes but made a little uh what would you call that an oops an oops so the reason why it, the vice grips around there is what happened to it? Well, I cut it when it was wet one day. I didn't want to get the hose out to wash it off, so I took and flipped it over to knock all the grass out of it. And there's a very small piece of metal right here that connects the height adjustment on it, and it snapped on both sides. I haven't gotten around to either fixing or replacing it, so the vice grips pulled that piece of metal in, otherwise the height adjustment knob will push forward and the thing drops to the ground instantly. But it so, still still cuts good though, right? Cuts fine, nothing wrong with it. Just a nice little added feature. <laughs> <laughs> nice, all right. Well, let's get some uh, B-roll here and uh, cut some grass. No rifling. The the rifling happens with the five blade, even like six, seven. You'll even see it with the Fiskers, you know, because when you're using a manual reel mower, it's all on how fast you walk is how fast the blades spin. And when you have more blades, you get less of that effect. And with this being an 11 blade, this gets nothing. Look at this. There's absolutely nothing here. So. This thing is, I mean, for using it on tee boxes, it makes sense and why this thing would cost a lot of money. It's actually, it was saying online that this thing's like 80 pounds and I mean, pushing it, it's really smooth and it has some weight to it, you know, so it can lay down some stripes. Whereas, you know, and it has that roller on the back for the striping. You know, when you get these other manual reel mowers, they have like these crappy plastic things on there, like on the back of my great states and the stripes are garbage. This thing also has, a uh, grass catcher box with it so let's do a couple passes with that you guys can check out what it looks like it's pretty sweet all right as you can see this thing performs like no other you know having 11 blades the weight everything it's uh you know when you push it the momentum just like it takes the mower with with you, you know. It's like it, with the great states, you got to run behind it. So, but Kenny, thanks for uh, letting yep. me come over here. I really appreciate it. And you guys got to check out his channel. He's got the the putting green. He's got zero turns. He's got perma greens to fertilize. He's got how much land you got back there? I got two acres total. The back is about one and three quarter acre. Front's about a quarter acre. Yeah. So. I have a 1500 square foot lawn, so I'm pretty pathetic. So, you know, he's got all the tools and he's always using different kinds of products, you know, and uh, true DIYer. And go check out his channel. I'll have the link in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I know it.
sound repetitive, but because with my my grade states, man, I like I honestly I'm not like running, mm-hmm. but like I'm sweating. Yeah, you know, you're putting effort into it. Yeah, and it's like this one is like even though you got to push harder on it, but it, it's it, like, it cuts. Well, and the momentum kind of keeps it going. Once you get it moving, it's not bad. Yeah, this thing is like I don't know, this is like a Ferrari, man. It's awesome. 